So one of the big distinction is that you know the Kashmir, uh, the CI and BI have traditionally tended to focus on the past. Uh, so they have you know put a lot of effort into understanding what's happened in the past, and that's useful. But it's a little bit like looking in the rearview mirror, right? You can't drive looking in the rearview mirror forever. So you have to have ways of actually predicting what's going to happen next and then organizing your business around that because that's where the real value of analytics comes in. Um, when we have seen these sort of uh, the BI-focused projects, very often we find that uh, they're not driven by a particular business problem. So one of the things we tell our clients and customers is, you know, start with something that you're really trying to solve. Like, start with a metric that you're very clear about. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to improve renewal rates? Are you trying to improve upsell rates? Are you trying to improve cross-sell rates? Are you trying to attract more prospects? Are you trying to improve conversion rates? Are you trying to improve retention? Because once you know that, once you know what it is that you're trying to solve for, you don't need that big BI project anymore. In fact, you can make do with a smaller exercise where you are very clinical about what data sets you use, Make sure you are keeping a good balance of internal versus external. A lot of traditional BI systems tend to focus very much on the internal side, but have no real way of mining all the external data that's becoming available. So making sure you have a balance of internal and external. And then make sure that when you have done those things, you take it through the prediction phase, meaning you know, build in the systems to actually predict customer behavior, 